Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us turn to our Holy Bible. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Here we see that praise to God for a living hope. Praise be to the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy He has given us new birth into a living hope through the restriction of Jesus Christ from the dead. What a great thing that we can see here because we have to praise the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why we have to praise Him? Because in His great mercy, he has given us new birth. Hallelujah. The new birth is, we got it. How we got it, the new birth, it is, we can see that He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. It is not only new birth God has given, but He also given us in you know living hope you know when the hope is living it is not a dead hope but it's a living hope it grows each time each moment you know as we see in the book of Daniel about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego when they were cast into the fiery trials you know it was the fiery furnace they were cast into and while they were in the furnace we can see that how god appeared as the fourth person in the midst of the fiery trial in their lives you know when we receive the new birth in christ we also get a living hope in him it is by his resurrection from the dead you know, everyone died, but nobody rose. But only Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead. And because Jesus raised from the dead, we have a living hope. And we also received new birth. And through the new birth, we also received the living hope. The living hope means it is like a seed. When we sow the seed, you know, if the land is, the field is good, it is fertile, it is good, you know, the seed grows, it can pro produce 30 folds, 60 folds, or 100 folds. In the same way we can see in the Holy Bible, the Bible teaches that when we born into the family of Jesus Christ, family of God, into the kingdom of God, and God is giving us a living hope. The hope is, it's not a dead hope, but it's not a dead seed. It's a living seed and it grows. It, you know, it can, it, it will be rooted in God's word. It will be rooted in God's kingdom and it will be flourished. And we will be very fruitful for God's glory. So the living hope will be growing even in the midst of trials. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendreho, while they were cast into the fiery furnace, the living hope which God has given them, that it was growing. It was not dead. It was not turn to discouragements or dismay and you know they never dismayed but we can see that they had a smiley face in the midst of the fiery trials in the fiery furnace those who came to cast them into the fiery furnace died but they did not die praise be to the name of the lord jesus christ for his great mercy he has shown us his kindness towards us that we can, we could have the new birth and the living hope through the restriction of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. And here we see in the fourth verse, and into an inheritance that can never 
perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. What a great joy because God is also is promising us an inheritance through this new birth. It is not only God is giving us a new birth, but also God is giving us with a new birth a living hope and also an inheritance. The inheritance, the you know, the quality or you know the inheritance, what kind of inheritance we are getting, it will never it will never perish, spoil or fade. Amen. You know, the inheritance can never spoil. The inheritance we get it on the earth, it can spoil, it can perish, it can fade. Even the beautiful home of others give us, even the beautiful, you know, land which they give us, it can spoil, you know, it can perish. You know, the house and the things, it can be fade. But inheritance which God has kept us in heaven, it can never perish, never spoil, and never fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. What a great joy because, uh, you know, on the earth God provides what is what is our needs. Even though we go through many trials, many circumstances, situations in our life, or many kinds of griefs in our lives but still we have a great hope that God has kept us inheritance when we receive the new birth in Christ and the fifth verse says that who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last days and it's also in the fifth verse says that and you know God also uh, promising us uh, see through the faith you know the faith is shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last days so the faith has the power the faith has power to shield us protect us and that's why hebrew chapter 11 6 it says that without faith we cannot please god we have to please god with faith and the faith can shield us with the power you know when we think that oh we are powerless we are losing a power in the midst of this terrible trial terrible problems but when we have strong faith in god the power cannot be loosened it cannot be lost but the power will increase in the midst of the trials that's why apostle paul says your grace is sufficient in the midst of my trials your grace is sufficient you know your grace is made perfect in weakness hallelujah god's power Power is made perfect. God's grace is sufficient in our weaknesses. And God's power made perfect in our weakness. The power we receive through the strong faith in Jesus Christ. And the faith is shielding us. That's why Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 when we see that, you know, the power of God, you know, the full armor of God, when we see that the faith can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil evil one or we praise and we thank you jesus because god's power god gives us in the faith when we have faith and that will protect us under the coming of jesus christ that power can protect us to the ends in this last days it is ready to be revealed in this last days amen and the sixth verse says in all this you greatly rejoice through now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials see here is saying that we have to rejoice because we have to face all kinds of trials for a little while all kinds of griefs in our life the griefs in all kinds 
of trials. See, we have to face it. But God's word says rejoice because our reward in heaven is great. We have a great reward in heaven. So we have to rejoice when we go through different kinds of griefs, trials, problems, you know, persecutions in our lives. But God is able to sustain us. Or God is able to help us. Or God is able to strengthen us. His faith which God has given us. So we have to pray that God will lead me to, Lord, more and more increase my faith as his disciples prayed. Lord, in the midst of the trials, let me be unshakable in the faith which God has given me. Because the faith can protect us. The faith can shield us. The faith can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one so that we can stand for in the days of evil. The seventh verse says that, um, says here, these are come so that the proven genuine genuineness of your faith of great worth than gold, which See here, uh, we see that which perishable, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Here is saying that when we go through the fire, when we go through the trials, our faith will be tested. You know, when the faith is tested, it is purifying. If a faith is like a gold or silver, even when it go through the fiery trials, it will be purified. If our faith is like, you know, the potter's pot, the potter's Water is making the pot. And if it's like the pot, it will be strengthened. When it go through the fire, it will be strong. It will be strengthened and it will be powerful enough to face any trials. It cannot be breaking. It cannot be break easily. It cannot be. Um, I mean, highly easily crushed. When we go through the trials, when we go through the circumstances, which is not so good, which is not, you know, suitable to us. But God's word says that when we go through such fiery trials, make sure that our faith is more precious than pure gold. The pure gold has to go through the fiery furnace. Then only it can be pure. But our faith will be tested. You know, when it is tested through the trials, it will be more precious than gold. When gold is purified, it will be used for many purposes. When our faith is tested, it will be used for many purposes, many beautiful purposes. So let us commit our life to God because God is able. God is able to do everything. God's hand is so powerful enough to do everything. And that's the reason God said to Abraham when he was going through the fiery furnace, he was going through the fiery trials, his only God and son Isaac was about to be beheaded and God was, you know, asking him to give his sacrifice, his only God and son Isaac to him and but in this fiery trials God when God tested Abraham's faith it is proven that it is genuine and a faith must be proven that it is genuine you know when we go through the trials it proves that we never grumpy we will never be grumpy and complain when we go through different trials we will be happy to face it everything even though I lost 90 percentage of my eyesight I go through troubles to read you know at trouble to see and I get much pain in my eyes when the, when it is a heavy sunshine or it is a more light I have to use the sunglass even though still I face 
troubles in my life but still i rejoice in the lord because i can see jesus his presence i can see his word it is very true i can see in the midst of all these trials i can i can make sure that my god is my provider his grace is sufficient in all my weaknesses and all the you know these trials proven our genuine faith in christ we never come blind we never grim be we say the god is so good and he's able to give us grace that as a normal person we can do everything it's not that you know we are you know it's uh, differently able or you know we are weakened or we are disabled or we are you know a weak persons and so we cannot do something we are going to such a grief in trials in our lives it's not like that god Paul God is pour out his power to us that we can able to do everything by Jesus Christ and it will our this trials is going to be resulted you know it is going to be result in praise glory and honor when Jesus Christ is you know revealed amen so each of our trials each of our trials is going to result in praise each of our trials is going to result in glory each of our trials is going to result in honor so we no need to bother and worry about anything because our god is able to you know turn everything good when we you know get into heaven praise god and the time will come because this life on earth is such a short period and we have to live such a in a short while here and we have to say goodbye to this earth goodbye to the dear ones right here and we have to go to the eternal home and all our trials will turn into hallelujah or aba satura nagadagala turn into result in praise or our trials uh, trials are going to result in glory all our trials are going to result in honor praise be to his holy name amen rikana bare gadagala do you uh, he says that in the verse 8 though you have not seen him you love him and even though you do not see him now you know now you believe in him and are filled with the inexpressible and glorious joy here three things we can see that we don't see jesus christ we haven't seen but faith we see him and love him amen and second we believe first we love him with all our heart with all our mind with all our strength second we believe in him and because of this uh, you know love and believe in jesus christ we have a great joy in the midst of all our trials so the ninth verse says that for you are rejoicing rejoicing amen you know because you are and you are rejoicing the end result of your faith the end result of your faith are we are rejoicing and we are you know praising the lord ori kana baregadagala oh we praising you jesus why we rejoice because we love him and we believe in him and there is a great joy in us and so there is no way that we have to rejoice we are not dismayed we are not discouraged but we rejoice and the result of your faith is we are rejoicing the salvation amen hallelujah the salvation which god has given us hallelujah oh he has given us salvation to our souls and so we are not go no more going to hell fire we are no more going to cast into the lake of fire we are no more going to hallelujah in the clutches of satan we are no more going to the clutches of sin we are no more going to hallelujah the clutches of this world because we love jesus 
Jesus Christ with all our heart with all our mind with all our strength we believe in him in the midst of every our trials every our circumstances every our problems hallelujah oh rikana baragadala because we oh receive in Jesus name because we love him because we believe in him oh rabba saturana garagadala that because that we have a great joy that's reason we rejoice our faith resulting rejoicing our faith resulting salvation for our souls we are no more going to cast into the lake of fire our names are written in the book of life hallelujah oh rabba saturana garagadala let us commit our life to jesus christ of nazareth he is able to do everything he is our redeemer this body this tent will be hallelujah fade away it will spoil it will perish and we have to leave this body on the earth hallelujah we have to leave leave this body and go and go go to heaven we have to leave this body and get into heaven or rabba sakuranaga let us commit our life to jesus christ because he is our redeemer he is our god or rabba sakuranaga even though we go through many trials we if we have kinds of griefs kinds of trials but we rejoice because we have strong faith and the faith produce joy in our hearts as you know the farmer sowing the seed in the field and because the, that is a fertile the field because that is prepared field that is watery field that is a field which is ready for hallelujah the cultivation you know the seed which is which is the farmer sowing that will produce 30 60 and 100 folds and that will produce the good you know harvesting or ikana baragadala we have a great joy we have a great joy in god when we sowing the seed or rabba saturana we can sow the different kinds of seeds in the midst of trials we can sow the seed of faith which will give us the joy which will give us the hope the living hope it's not a dead hope or dying hope but in jesus we have a living hope anyone who turn to jesus they have a living hope because jesus resurrected from the dead and that's the reason we have a hope after death or rabba sat while we live on the earth we have hope and life after death we have a great hope because we are going to live ever for ever with jesus praise be to his holy name praise be to his holy name because he is able he is able to do everything he is the living king he is the loving god rabba saturana garagadala his hand is so big to protect us hallelujah oh he is shielding us hallelujah oh the faith which god is giving us it can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one it can shield us and god himself is our shield and our faith can shield us and it can produce a strength and power to us oh in the midst of the trials so that we will rejoice ever with our living rejoice with our god and god's word says as philippians chapter 4 verse 4 rejoice in the lord and again i say rejoice let us rejoice in the midst of every trials let us praise his holy name hallelujah oh riba saturana that's why the third verse says that praise be to the god the father of our lord jesus christ oh hallelujah praise be to the god the father of our lord jesus christ oh let us praise him hallelujah oh let us praise him let us give the seed of praise praise the lord praise the lord oh when where there is a praise god can come down oh hallelujah in the book of judah we can see in the first chapter in the first verses we can see that when the israelites asked to the lord after the death of moses whom shall we send and we see the god said let you know hallelujah let us send judah what is the meaning of judah that is means praise hallelujah those and god said that let him go up to fight against this enemy and i will give the enemy into his hands even we see in the book of genesis god is fulfilled the promise with jacob and he's blessed his sons and we see that you know 
how God has uh, blessed at the time itself through Jacob. You know, Judah, that your enemies will be in your hands. You know, when God say, says that we have to sit in the I mean, right hand of the Lord Almighty, you know, until he make our enemies a footstool. Reba, Sakura, Naga, Naga, Dagala, our enemies, Satan, our enemies, Hallelujah, defeated one on the cross. Let us commit our life to Jesus Christ and let us sit in the presence of Jesus because of God is able to do everything and enter our lives. We praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We praise the name of the King of Kings. And you know, when Judah listened to God and he went with the Simeonites and we see that God has given the enemies in his you know, hand. Hallelujah. Who, who are our enemies? Even the Perizzites, Jebusites. We see that the Ammonites. You know, we may have the enemies, the you know, demonic forces, the witchcrafts. You know, we have the enemies, the evil ones, but we have to stand firm in the faith you know, hallelujah, or Rabbi Sakuranaga, as Ephesians chapter 6, or 10 to 18, we see that we have to put on the full armor of God. We have to put, hallelujah, the helmet of, you know, salvation. We have to, you know, put on the belt of truth. We have to, you know, you know, we, we have to, you know, take up the hallelujah sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We have to put on the hallelujah, I mean, good news, Oh, hallelujah, the gospel, gospel shoes, oh, which, which can, you know, hallelujah, reconcile, I mean, people, reconciliation with God, and reconcile people with God, we have to, hallelujah, put on the shield, which is the faith, oh, that can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one, we have to put on the righteousnesses, I mean, hallelujah, breastplate, we praise and we thank you, the righteousness we receive through the blood of Jesus Christ, the faith in Jesus. That's why, you know, Romans chapter 1, we see that the righteousness of Abraham was, I mean, hallelujah, the faith of Abraham was counted as his righteousness. And, you know, the faith will turn into the righteousness, the faith in Jesus Christ, the faith in the living God. And sometimes when we go through the trials, I mean, hallelujah, we are at the point of losing our faith, but the word of God says we have to stand firm in the faith in Jesus. Jesus, praise be to his name. He is able to do everything. He is able to do. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us commit our life to Jesus. In this morning time, I mean, hallelujah, let us submit our life. God is able to do everything. God is able to provide our needs. God is able to hallelujah, sustain us. God is able to, hallelujah, hallelujah, come in the midst of our uh, kinds of uh, griefs and trials. He is able to wipe our tears. He is able to sustain us. He is able to strengthen us. He is able to come for us. He is able to... Uh, and take us to a different realm in our spiritual life. Let us commit our life to Jesus. Praise be to his holy name. 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 Our God is able. Our God is able. Our God is able. Praise be to his holy name. Praise be to his holy name. Let us praise the name of Jesus. Precious Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you, praise you, Master God Jesus, for this precious time. I just want to pray, Master God Jesus, with the dear ones who are listening. God's voice, my Father Jesus, praise you, praise your holy name, my Father Jesus. My Father, I do not see them, I do not know them. But I know one thing is that your blazing eyes is watching them, searching them. You know their needs, they, you know, Master God, their circumstances which they go through. I I pray that God, you will able to provide every needs of them. You will able to must go meet their needs. Praise be to His holy name, Rabbasaturanegaregadagala. Lord, you will must God Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Provide their needs, my Father Jesus. Hallelujah. My Father might be they cannot share with anyone. Oh, Hallelujah. Might be they cannot share because must God the faith never allow us to share what we go 
go through what we face it the challenges hallelujah shadrak meshak abednego the fiery trials hallelujah they couldn't share to anyone what they were facing but they had a strong faith in god which made god to reveal hallelujah himself in the fiery furnace oh praise you the praise be to his holy name praise you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah some of the people are facing lord financial crisis some of the people are facing much more physical hallelujah problems and trials and sicknesses in their bodies some of them are facing the mental agonies and sufferings in their lives my father some of them are facing some of the most more problems with their generations i praise and thank you jesus hallelujah lord some of the master god may be having the problems in different uh, uh, griefs master jesus inexpressible expressible hallelujah or oh, might be in their inside of their family life inside of their hallelujah children life inside of the societies inside of master god hallelujah or oh, the circumstances which they facing rekhane bareyagadagala i pray in jesus name you may break down the powers of the satanic realm the clutches of satan be break down in jesus name arabana hatana rage very which crafty powers i cast it out in jesus mighty name every sickness as i command in jesus name to get out rathana bareyagadagala uribana ga sandurana ga regadagala by your stripes we are healed by the name of jesus we are healed by the word of jesus we are healed hallelujah jehova jairi the provider of healing oh rabba satura nagara gadagala jidar nagadagala you are making us secured oh you are making us to hallelujah healed oh we praise you jesus we praise you jesus we adore your holy name arabana janabala rikhana nagadagala sandura nagara gadagala praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah in all our trials we trusting you in all our troubles we trusting you we praise you jesus we thank you jesus i just want to commit him once again hallelujah jesus all those who are listening hallelujah lord those who are seated in your presence i commit them in your hands may you touch them holy spirit you are a helper lord hallelujah you are a person you are i mean invisible in our eyes my father's physical eyes but we are you are visible in our spiritual eyes my father you may touch us to god the one who is in need my father hallelujah the different kinds of needs people are seeing as seated lord i pray that master god you may touch my father may you real to them may you real to them may your presence be very real to them araba sakura nagara gadagala sandura nagara gadagala uraba sakura nagara gadagala may you wipe away their tears may may you wipe away their sorrows my father hallelujah may you wipe away master god jesus their hallelujah uraba sakura nagara gadagala janaba rikana nagadagala o my terrible agonies my father jesus christ my father anyone is sorrowful anyone is must go on in trials i pray in jesus name may the holy spirit may hallelujah visit them hallelujah may the holy spirit may hallelujah sustain them who receive in jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus rikana nagadagala o hallelujah praise you jesus hallelujah o rabara bara 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 jidar nagadagala lord we invite the holy spirit in our lives praise you jesus hallelujah oh may the holy spirit be hallelujah hallelujah our best friend in our lives my father praise you jesus hallelujah who is our helper who is our provider of grace in all the circumstances we worship the our living god jesus christ we worship our savior we worship our hallelujah oh hallelujah redeemer hallelujah king of kings and lord of lords we praise you jesus we hallelujah praise the father who is seated on the throne we worship you we praise you jesus for everything we praise you for our generation we praise you for our families we praise you father lord our dear ones we praise you master jesus christ for our master god church beloved brothers and sisters and kids my father we praise you for hallelujah everything we thank you jesus once again i just would like to commit each and everything into the mighty hand thank you jesus each and every person to the mighty hand thank you jesus you are in the midst of us praise your holy name praise your holy name thank you for adding a beautiful day in our lives master god jesus a pleasant day i mean i have 
happiest day oh joyful day because we have faith in god oh that can sustain hallelujah every circumstances we are going to face it today we do not know what is going to wait for us but we just praise we just thank we just adore your holy name praise be to his holy name praise be to his holy name oh rabb satura nagare gadagala may your name be glorified and exalted my father lord we committing all our friends all our dear ones we committing must to god jesus all our i mean hallelujah sheep the believers oh we committing everyone into the mighty hand may your name be glorified thank you jesus my father you are there to answer us you are there to bless us you are there to i mean hallelujah honor us i mean you are going to must to god turn all our sorrows to be the to you to for your praise oh for your glory holy name for your honor my father holy spirit we praise you we praise you we praise you we thank you jesus we love you jesus more than anything we love you more than holy silver and gold we love you more than earthly blessings we love you more than anything we love you jesus praise you jesus more than all what we have we love you we praise you we thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus we have a great inheritance in heaven praise be to your holy name hallelujah that will never spoil never perish or oh, never fade away praise you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus what a great king what a great god what a great redeemer we got in heaven hallelujah praise you jesus hallelujah what a great king of kings and lord of lords ever walk with us we are not alone on the earth hallelujah we are not must and god jesus hallelujah walking alone sitting alone we are not must and god moving alone oh in you know, all true must and god god purpose in our life you are there hallelujah because you promised to with us hallelujah you will never leave us no forsake for us until the ends of the earth you are with us praise your holy name praise your holy name rima sakura ുംസ്റ്റ് <laughs> Double nine zero four zero triple eight six four, and uh, we will be praying because we have prayer conferences. So we will be praying together for all your needs. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord honor you. 